PopCultureZone.com is an online shop focusing on hot new comics, including exclusive and incentive variants, CGC graded comics, and tons of other inventory, including pop culture toys and other collectibles, all at low and competitive prices. PopCultureZone.com ships all over the U.S. And if you are buying raw comics, they offer flat rate shipping of only $4.99. That's right, $4.99. Absolute craziness, right? And there's no taxes included, excluding New Jersey. Pop Culture Zone is also on eBay, where they hold a 100% positive feedback rating with over 8,000 completed transactions for this year alone. Make sure to check out the link to their website below as well as their eBay link. So be sure to give them a follow there as well. Can you make a living as a comic book channel YouTuber? All right, guys, who's ready for some honest truth? Who's ready for some honest truth? I'm going to answer this question. I'm going to, you know, who's making a living? <laughs> Jen Mint. Jim Mint is making a living off of being a YouTube content creator. He, you know, and, and power to him because he's built his channel up and, you know, he's got the 150 subs now. He gets the views and, I, you know, he's making, he's making good money. Good money. And if I do recall, I do believe he ended up quitting because I know for a time there he was still working, doing his YouTube, but I do believe he quit, quit that. But you know, I mean, he does other stuff too. I know he's he's kind of he's kind of a reseller and flipper. There's that word flipper, but not in a dirty term of statues. Um, you know, I, I believe, and don't quote me on this, but he has a way. And, you know, he's always he's been one of the champions of making the hobby pay for itself, right? So, you know, I know that he works different things to bring in revenue, but if you want to look at a channel that's solid, that's relevant to comic books and pop culture. He's the guy, obviously. You and then you know you got other individuals like Comic Tom or um, like Very Gary is another one that have a solid following that I'm sure generate amazing ad revenue. But you know, like Tom has his own has his brand. Um, you know, he sells on whatnot. Uh, he has his mystery box. He works with Mill Geek Comics, and then Very Gary obviously is a huge reseller and, and dealer. So. You know, and, and 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 look, I've always said this, and this isn't in a negative thing, but it's just the God honest truth. If you are pushing um, your your resale business, and you got big, you got money invested in that, and you got keys, that's going to drive your YouTube to be more successful. If you are showing off unboxing of CGC CGC unboxings with big keys coming in that aren't even yours, they're there to bring in revenue for your business. But you're doing a video on it and you're getting 10,000 views on it, you know, and you're making over $100 on that video, you're making money because of it's like the chicken or the egg, you know, it's like that's helping you. But then yet your YouTube channel is helping you get exposure for your business. So it's a good symbiotic relationship, right? So that's why I said, you know, before 10 months ago, I built my channel without that. Again, I'm not knocking those that do it. I I, I want to get there. I want to be that. I want to incorporate both. I want to get exposure for my my me as a seller, and you know, hopefully, me as a seller could bring in more subscribers and viewers to my channel as well. I want that. But these people built their stuff off of that. That's solid. So they're making good money off of YouTube, but they also have other revenue streams because they are dealers in some form or fashion. Or like, I think it was Buddy that was saying earlier, a, a reseller of some form or fashion. So if if you look at, you know, can you make a living off of YouTube? You can utilize YouTube as one stream of revenue. If you look at me, I've really based my revenue off of simply YouTube. Now, I'm not as big as Barry Gary, Comic Tom, Gem Mint, any of them. But for my decent size following... I make a little bit of money, but it's not enough to live off of. I keep in mind, I have two children. You know, uh, I live in California. <laughs> so I do, and this is why I offer, you know, I offer my Patreon membership 
to give perks to those members off from my YouTube membership, which brings in a little more money, more money. Um, I do take sponsorships and I'm very transparent about that. I've de I've declined many opportunities to have even more sponsorships, but I don't just take anybody that says, Hey, journal, uh, you know, we'll pay you to do this and push this brand. I can't do it. If I don't, if I don't feel that I'm genuine, if I don't believe in the product, if it's not something I can back, I don't do it. So I do have a little money coming in from, from a couple sponsors. Um, then you get your ad revenue, right? And then I got my, my Patreon and my memberships. So it's, it's a good little chunk of money right now that's allowed me to still only work part-time as an educator. Now, I recently just took another part-time job uh, as a, a assistant sports director, which is only a, you know a couple more hours a day in that role. I, I do my um, part-time educator position. Then I go and stay until the afternoon doing my couple of hours as a, a assistant sports director at the same school. And then I come home and I film videos. I edit videos. I do live streams. I do this and that. But then I've also added selling comics, which, you know, I, I've had some keys. I came across some solid collections, but I'm not very Gary out here with his 9.8 slabs all, all day. Right. I don't I don't have that overhead yet to really, you know, cycle through and keep getting good inventory of good books like Nerdy Girl. I mean, she's the cream of the crop, but even like skeleton keys, you know, they they have set themselves up to a plateau to where they could get keys in. They get enough money, they pay their bills, they live off it, but they have enough um, profit left over that they put back into the inventory and then they bring more key books in, 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 and that's, that's just like an LCS does. That's how you stay afloat. I don't have that yet with the comics. So for me right now, if you look at where I'm at, 12 point whatever thousand subscribers, you know, uh, I, I get a little, little, I mean, my Patreon members, I have a select little handful of members. Uh, I encourage anyone to, you know, join it if, if you want to cancel at any time. <laughs> but, um, you know, it's a little bit of money a month, a little bit. And usually what I do with that money, it goes back into my channel some way. Um, and then same same with YouTube, YouTube memberships. It's only $2 a month. So I get like, you know, maybe $40 a month more there. I could not do this full time at all with what I'm doing. Even with what I'm doing right now, working part time, I'm I am I'm at a I'm at a crossroads right now, and this is where I'm being completely honest with you guys. It's tough. It's a struggle, and I'm really sitting here. I've already, you know, I was making I was making content seven days a week, and I was burnt out, and I had to pull back. So now you probably see me doing content five days a week. I got to give myself a day off here and there. I'm giving myself to next summer. It's the end of the school year that I'm working to say, what do I want to do as an educator in a career? And I'm given this time to see what I could do with my YouTube over this next, what, you know, eight months or so. And if I don't keep pushing, I'm, I'm never going to not be journos, folks. Um, I will always be here doing my channel, but I just might have to scale it back a little more because at that point in time, I got to make a decision for myself, for my family to say, I need I need retirement. I need 401k. I need to work full time in my career. I would love this to be my career for, for right now. I'm just not there yet. You know, we'll see. And, and then there are complications with battling the algorithms. And I've talked about this before. YouTube is heartless, man. And you can't get to a human being. You can't. Um, I believe it was uh, Tom that had his channel demonetized. I didn't know the details, but I know he was pushing it a few months back saying something happened. They got demonetized. He couldn't, he couldn't get a hold of anybody that worked for Google. Google owns YouTube. And I can't imagine being a channel of 50,000 subscribers and all the work that I put in. I mean, I can't imagine it right now with 12,000 subscribers. With 50,000, you put in all that work every week. And, you know, regardless of if you like Tom or not, I'm not, that's besides the point. If you like his channel or not. He put in that work. He's working hard. And now they're saying, nope, we're not giving you your money with no explanation. Wow. Can you believe that? That's like, um, can you imagine? Can you imagine you go into a job, you work for a company. I basically work for YouTube. I work for Google. Why? Because I'm sitting here working my butt off, earning them money. 
and they pay me, right? When you work at Starbucks, you make coffees, warm up biscuits <laughs> and truffles and, 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 and everything. You make them money. You make them millions and billions of dollars and they give you a paycheck for $15 an hour, whatever. Every company, you go, you work, you make them money, they pay you. I'm making Google, YouTube, big money because of advertisers paying them to run their ads on my videos. And then they give me a little bit of that and they pay me. Can you imagine going into work one day and saying, hey, keep doing your work, but we're just, we're not paying you anymore. Okay. Now imagine, it's it's even different because at least in that scenario, you could say, all right, peace. I'm going to go apply for some other jobs. We built this as YouTubers. We built this. We can't just walk away from this. I can't walk away from 12.2 thousand subscribers and go fill out a resume to another company and say, okay, you're hired. Here you are with your 12.2 thousand subscribers and fan base and everything that generates your revenue. Nope. I got to start from scratch. That's a very, very scary thing. So I worry about that all the time, but the YouTube algorithms are ridiculous and I'm going through it right now. And I've hinted at this and brought this up here and there, but um, I thought about doing a full on like live stream talking about it, but I, I don't even know if it's worth it, but I'm getting screwed right now by the U to the oob in many ways, in many ways.